Okay, everybody, this is Dr. Alex Waldman. Thank you for joining us. And it is an honor and a pleasure this evening to have with us Dr. Portia Carter, uh, who is an orthodontist practicing in Smyrna and Marietta, Georgia in the Atlanta area. We'll be talking about orthodontics, about life. Uh, we'll also be talking about virtual consultations and smile snap. Dr. Carter, thank you so much for joining us. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you. Same here, same here. Okay, well, I uh, had a chance to get to know you a little bit uh, as we prepared for this episode and uh, learned a lot about you. You have a fantastic life story, practice story, and let's dive right in. Okay. So first of all, you're the proud mother of 13-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. Yes. And yes. I'm sure that takes up a lot of your time when you're not doing orthodontics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most and, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, being a mom yourself uh, must be amazing because you shared with me that actually your own uh, mom was very pivotal in your life in kind of steering you basically into a career of science and uh, ultimately orthodontics. I was wondering if you you know, might want to share with our listeners uh, a little bit of how, how, how that happened for you. I, it was, um, when I think about it, it's actually a really good story because I was on a path that wasn't so good, you know, with a not so good crowd. And, and my mother is, is a teacher. Well, she's um, retired now. She was in teaching for about 35, 38 years, something like that. So she waited until I got an got to the seventh grade and she um, disciplined me, okay? And told me to change all of my friends. Once I did that, I started hanging with a different group um, that wanted to achieve. So we were in a small town in Georgia. She saw that I wanted to do better. So she moved us to Atlanta, Georgia so that I could go to uh, Science and Math Academy and at that point, that's where I started to excel. So I always tell people that the um, discipline that my mother gave me in sixth grade was the best whipping I've ever gotten in my life because it really changed my, my path. It really, it really did. And she really sacrificed a lot for me to uproot herself from her job to move to a place for me to have a better education. So I, I, I really um, appreciate that. And, and I really feel that that's a true mother. So I try to emulate myself in that with my kids. Oh, that's, that's amazing. And you know, it's kind of a, a whole cycle, right? Because from there, then you went off to college in New Orleans, I believe. Yes. I went to Xavier and I majored in um, chemistry. And the story behind that, I tend to do things that I don't excel in. I want to I want to I want to conquer it. So in high school, I didn't really like chemistry. And when I told my mother I was going to major in chemistry, she was like, are you nuts? I don't like chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to major in chemistry and I'm going to do this. And that's how I've been all my life, even through dental school, because orthodontics, as you know, was a little difficult in dental school because we just didn't get everything. So when I told my mom that I was going to be an orthodontist, she was like, are you crazy? I said, no, I'm going to be an orthodontist. And wow. that's how I got here. Yeah. And, and there you are. And then I, um, you know, uh, uh, I believe you did your dental school at uh, Columbia. Uh, yes, New York. Which is yes. uh, my old stomping ground in New York, actually. Uh, and, then, um, and then down to uh, Medical College of uh, Virginia. Yes. In between that, in between that, I did a, a GPR, a residency sure. at a VA, and that kind of put me on a path of knowing that I wasn't cut out to be the specialist general dentist to just to right. do everything. That just wasn't me. So I decided to come back home to Georgia and go to the Medical College of Georgia. Oh, okay. Medical College of Georgia, not Virginia. Yes, Georgia. yes. Right. it's called something else right now, but that's what I okay. tend to call it. Yes, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And. I believe um, you learned about SmileSnap and kind of virtual consultations from your partner in BE Orthodontics. I know you guys are known as the Bees, right? That's how you're known. Um, but there's an interesting story before we get to that, actually about how you met your partner, right? So can you share with us that story? Um, she, she, 
she didn't like me in the beginning and she didn't know me. We met Are you someone like, from your class or in no, your no. Never, no, 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 we went to no. Totally, okay. two totally different schools. She graduated before me. And actually, I was starting a job that she was finishing. So she thought I was just a little quiet. If you know her, she's all over the place. She's true bumblebee. Um, so she's like, oh, she's quiet and she's stuck <laughs> up and she's unfriendly. And then I get a call out of the blue from her, May 1997. Portia, you know, I had this dream I, and I'm in my private practice, but, you know, I'm not by myself and I just keep seeing your face. Would you like to be my partner? I'm like, Sure, she says I dropped the phone. So in December of that year, we opened our first practice together and now we have two. So, I mean, it, it was definitely, um, definitely fate. And what I found out is that our lives paralleled, you know, educated mother, your teaching, um, you know, things like that. Everything in her life paralleled what was going on in my life. So I, I felt that it was fate. Yeah, so kind of like at first didn't seem to make sense, but then the more you learned about her, you, you realized it kind of did, huh? Just like, just like in other relationships, you know, I, I tell her that we've been together longer than we've both been married, and sometimes we need some counseling. So, <laughs> you know, oh, that, that relationship is the same as my relationship with my husband. It's, it's just, oh, yeah. It just grows. You know, we have our ups and downs, but I think that the, the way we have done our practice is that we don't compete with each other. So, you know, we always started as, uh, you know, it's ours together. So no competition in it. And we've done well. All right. Well, that's amazing. And, you know, I guess you guys have built two practices together and you're still together. So congratulations, because that is, you know, that's amazing. Um, let's, let's, um, you know, pivot towards talking about virtual consultations. You know, it's a really hot topic these days. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, obviously since, since COVID as well, um, take me back to the day that you first heard about it. You first learned about it. Um, I know you mentioned that she found out about, I guess, smile snap or virtual consults, and then you quickly got on board. Tell me a little bit about that and how, how that worked for you. When, when, when did it happen? Um, it actually happened during the shutdown um, when we were considering reopening and what we were going to do and our patients knowing that a lot of them may be a little bit apprehensive yeah. um, to come into the office. So she found this platform and I started studying it and um, she started talking about things that were going to happen with the virtual platform with Smile Snap that eventually did. But when she was talking and to know my business partner, she's very like, she's very like, uh, 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 just in your face. So I'm like, oh, this is a good idea. So I just took it and ran with it. And I just felt that it saves patients a lot of time and um, energy to come into the office, especially during the pandemic. And we feel more productive when we do the virtual consultations too, because we are more efficient. We don't waste a lot of time. Now, were you concerned about how your patients would, would take to it? Or it was kind of like shut down, so no choice. And, and here's what we got kind of thing. Well, um, actually our patients really embraced it because we kind of built it up on our social media before we did it. Um, our patients know that we're not in your face orthodontist. We're kind of behind the scenes. So we got on Instagram and did little chit chats and what have you and kind of told patients what we were going to do. And they were very receptive of that. Great. Wow. Fantastic. And, you know, now that you're back in the office, like, right. And so you're open so you can see patients. Um, how has that changed for you from like when you only could do it during shutdown? to now how is the role of smile snap are you still using it for all your patients like how have you decided to use it going forward we i, I think is is even better we use it a lot um i feel my 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 team likes it because like i said they feel more productive also we can see quote unquote more patients more consults with that platform than actually having them to come into the office. So they like it. Um, it saves us a lot of time and energy. It kind of weeds out some patients that, that that may not come in anyway, you know, so we're not wasting their time. It also gets us other patients 
even if those patients don't decide to start because they feel a little connection. We've gotten referrals from patients that didn't start for whatever reason, but they referred their friends and family to us, I think because of the, the personal connection we made with them. So it hasn't slowed down at all. And actually it's kind of picked up, which is good too. Yeah, that's what, that's what a lot of people are saying now that they kind of like got into the virtual council thing uh, because of a need. But mm -hmm. now that they understand kind of how it works, they're seeing there's a lot of advantages to having as part of your, you know, your, you know, normal workflow, like mm -hmm. you're saying, seeing more mm -hmm. patients, you know, getting that higher conversion rate, higher touch, all that, um, yes. you know, and, um, you know, now that you've been using this platform already for a few months, you know, mm -hmm. uh, what I kind of see is that doctors take a piece of technology and they each use it a different way, right, in their office. So, we might be using SmileSnap in our office as we do, and you are, but probably our systems look really different in terms of how we use it because we're different doctors and whatever, different personalities. I'm wondering what is Dr. Portia Carter doing? Because uh, I know she's doing something electric and special to make this thing work. What are you doing? How have you made this your own in your office? What kind of special twists have you guys put on it um, that's my first question. My second question is just kind of how you work with your staff on it. You know, how much do they do? How much do you do? So those kind of might interplay, but I'll, I'll let you answer the book. I'm telling you, I, the, the feature that I love the most about this is how they incorporated the little video um, with the consultation. I absolutely love that. And I've gotten a lot of feedback from that. So I'm usually the one um, doing those videos because my business partner, just she just, she's, um, I can tell her to find the apple on the upper left hand side of the screen, screen and she'll tell me it's not there. That's how computers <laughs> is. So I tend to do all those. Now, what I'm about to do is use that platform for my dads because the dads are usually ones that don't come in and, and they don't make a connection with the office. So that's what I'm going to be using it for. But I use that for every patient that, that signs up for Smile Snap. I give them a quick little video and I love that. That's the, that's wow. my, the thing I love the most about it now. So you're saying the the new feature that's like the recorded selfie video kind of thing. Yes, yeah. I love that. I but love that because I, you get your personality yes. to it. They see who you are. It's real. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. Because some patients don't do a virtual consultation. We, um, I love the fact that we can put our own questions and do our own um, little questionnaires in there. And some patients want a consultation based on photos. And that's one of our, our selections. So they don't get to do the virtual. So at least they'll get to enter, well, just see, you know, one of the doctors and kind of yeah. get a feel for the practice. So I love that part. And are you doing any, uh, once we're on the topic, um, are you doing any like virtual appointments for your regular treatment, like check-ins, things like that? Or is it just for the consults at this point? Now, we did that initially when we were um, um, shut down. We did that with a lot of patients and that's how a lot of them kind of got in touch with us. And that went well too, especially with retainer checks because they'll come to the office for a 30 minute appointment, they're there for five minutes and then they're gone. If I could see them on the virtual platform, I can see how their retainer fits and tell them, hey, I'll see you in about three months. So we did that with a lot of our retainer patients. We did that with a lot of patients that had appliances in um, that we you know, did not get a chance to monitor. And, you know, patients with elastics, okay, let me see your rubber band wear, yada, 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 we'll put a pack in the mail, something like that. So we maintained a lot of those patients that were quote unquote crucial, um, and it worked out well. It really did. Now, thank you for that. That's, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, this is incredible information. And I wanted to address, you know, for doctors out there, because not everyone is obviously as comfortable as you are with computers with this kind of, you know, virtual process. And, you know, obviously your office is very up to date on social media and, and, you know, this is kind of natural for you guys. This was almost like a natural extension of 
how you're reaching out and, and, and kind of already almost there with your patients. Um, for an office that is like maybe not as comfortable having that online relationship, um, not as comfortable with the virtual, what would you say to them that would perhaps encourage them or convince them to give something like this a shot? I, I think it's a really good platform for patients because a lot of people that want braces or want their smile changed, some of them are kind of insecure about their smile to come into the office and have somebody to tell them to open wide, let me see, boom, boom, boom. They don't feel that comfortable. I feel that this is a really good platform to bridge that insecurity. So, you know, some patients that I've done virtual consultations on, you know, they're, they feel a little bit better behind a screen as opposed to in person. And it's, I think this is this whole social media thing, but, I, I tend to get a lot of patients um, that way because at the end of the conversation, the parent will say, you know what? She, she looks like, the, my girl looks like she feels comfortable. She's, you know, she's smiling over here. But if she had gotten in the office, the first contact, she may not have done that. So yeah. I think it's a good confidence builder for You're those like, patients. I have like the like, my, you know, that like emoji where like the mind is being blown, you know, that emoji. That's what I yes. feel like right now. Like you're blowing my mind here because I think what you just said is an incredible insight, you know, that I, I've actually like maybe seen it a little bit in my patients, but I never quite put my finger on that. That actually for these days, if I'm, if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly, what you're saying is that patients these days actually might, this might be the better way for them to do it. Like we kind of maybe see virtual as like a second option or a secondary way to enter that new patient funnel because yeah. we had our old way and this is like the new way. And, you know, but you're saying that yeah. this actually for some patients may be, may be better because it like connects with them in the way that they're, you know, kind of more used to connecting with people now, which is- And when they come to the yeah. office or when they come in for that appointment, they're excited about coming into the appointment because they've actually met me before and right. they want to see more. And I, I just see a different transition into the office as opposed to a patient where they come in and they're sitting in a chair and I'm like, you don't really want to be here, do you? You know, <laughs> so those patients yeah. that eventually come in, they really, they want to be there. So that that's a good start. And like dollars and cents, are you seeing that the patients who go through the smile snap funnel and kind of do the virtual, whether it's photos or video or your selfie or however you kind of use that smile snap tool, because there's so many different ways, right? You can interact with the patient. Smile snap, excuse me, but if, if they go through that in any way and they show up to your office to kind of come in, has your conversion rate for those patients gone up? Like once they get to the office, are, are they starting? I, I, I was initially concerned about that because, you know, as orthodontists, we don't like to give our, you know, our quotes and stuff without actually having them in, them in the office. And that's what we were taught, get them in the office, sell it, what have you. But when we do our consultations, those patients that really want to start, when they come in, they're, they're well informed. They know exactly what's going to happen. They know exactly what they're going to have to pay. And on some of the um, consultations I send out, it will have a range of the quote and they start anyway. I feel that our conversion rate has increased, increased because right. of this. Patients now want to know the bottom line. Basically, they really do. They um, want to know the bottom line. And it almost seems like it's reversed from in the past where you have to spend more time connecting. They want to know the bottom line. Um, although the smile snap helps us to connect also. But I see an increase in our conversion. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're doing a lot. We're doing maybe not as many as a lot of offices, but it has really increased our, um, our starts, you know. I mean, to do as many as we've done in the, from March to now, you know, we have gotten that many in a pandemic. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy, right, to think that it's yes. a, a it's a global pandemic, but we have these new tools that kind of keep and things we're still alive. Starting patients. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Carter, 
thank you for your time. This has been fantastic. Uh, not only getting to know you, but uh, learning about how you're using SmileSnap and how you guys have just taken right to the virtual consult model. So congratulations to you and uh, keep up the good work. Um, you know, you're inspiring all of us with your work and uh, thank you so much uh, for your time. Thank you so much. I hope it's, this is not the last time we get to talk. Oh, it will definitely not be. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good one, okay? Thank you. Okay, uh, bye-bye.